Hey everybody, welcome back here again to IcyColorLive.tv. I'm here with the artist Terrence Cunningham who just toured down here at T-Love here in Baltimore in the Fells Point area. Right, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, my man. Hey, Thank you so much. much. Man, we've seen a lot of art come through here and you definitely off the top you killed it with the prints. Yes. You're, you're opening the... Y'all know I can't sing. Y'all yeah. watch the show like... Uh, you hit that like okay. one more time. I, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he rock, y'all see the video, we don't edit it in. Yeah. Right, help me out if you know that one. I keep going, Your friend from D.C. Yes. Independent still. Yes. What's up with the label? Why they not beating the door there? Uh, uh, well, actually, I don't know, man. I just uh, finished recording my project, actually. Okay. I recorded it December 11th, okay. and uh, which was literally four days ago. Right. So we haven't even got it mixed and mastered yet. Okay. And, album art and anything like that. So Are you doing a lot of writing on it? Yeah, actually a uh, partner and I, uh, my friend Jason Reynolds, we okay. uh, wrote and produced the entire thing. That's nice. Um, so yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful project, man. Um, it's a bit of rock slash alternative, uh, okay. but of course a lot of soul in there. Like right. I said, I did the Prince song to start. I always like to do a familiar song when I first start to kind of get the right. audience's attention, or the audience rather, get their attention. So yeah, it's a bit of, um, you know, soul, uh, a little bit of R&B. Right. And what you talk about, it reminds me of an artist we interviewed before, Lydia Caesar, where she calls herself the rock and beat chick, where she fuses all that, that soul, yes. yeah. that rock, mm -hmm. you know, give it that edge still, but you still have that warm soul feeling to it. Right, right. And, and, and we need that. And people who really appreciate music who don't get set, set in one genre mm -hmm. really appreciate that, mm -hmm. especially live instrument right. like tonight. And you play also. Yes. Multitasking. Yes, sir. I brought uh, my Fender Rhodes, okay. aka my best friend with me. I saw that. And uh, I don't bring it out of the house a lot. That right, thing right. weighs about 115 pounds. Right. We zoomed in on that. We saw the Rhodes on that. Yeah, yes, sir. They don't see that. They're like, oh, he's legit. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, you know. When the cast for Christmas at your grandma would get <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> with the speakers on it. Right. No, sir. So, let, let me ask you this. Um, being, being from D.C., has that helped you? Has it ended you? What do you think? Man, D.C. has been you know, invaluable to me, man. I started performing in D.C. back in 2005. Okay. I started, you know, doing the open mic right. thing, which I think a lot of, which should be a prerequisite. Right. If you can sing in front of a crowd that doesn't know you, it doesn't have to give you an affirmation that they right. don't like you, then, yeah, you know, you gotta pay your dues. So that's where I started. I started, you know, in the U Street scene. Mm -hmm. I started um, New York Avenue scene, right. going to open mics, and I finally booked a show. Uh, it was actually on Valentine's Day in 2005. It's a club called Mirrors it gave me an opportunity, and uh, I did a show, put it down. You know, DC has been, you know, so supportive, man. Whenever I have a show, a lot of people always come out. A lot of the same people always come out. You know, DC is a wonderful hub of musicians, right. singers, artists. You know, I. I Let's talk about some of the successes. Like you said, being received by by DC. Mm -hmm. Have you felt that same level? Yes, actually, I had. Yes, actually, I had a feature in Kansas City uh, Missouri, Missouri, okay. uh, last year, and it was overwhelming. I had a show on Friday night and again on a Saturday, and um, they were so welcoming, and they literally ate up every word. You know, I'm an artist coming from the East Coast, and they've never heard of, except for the promoter. And um, a few of the people came back, and actually, one of the old principals from uh, Duke Ellington School of Music in D.C. was there. So I was absolutely honored. He came up to me and was like, you know, good job, young man. And I was on the floor. You know? So yeah, man, uh, and I've done quite a bit of shows in New York, the Brooklyn area, you know, Bed-Stuy. And that's one of those crowds where, like, before you get up to sing, they sit literally waiting. Because one time I did a show and I was late, and they were like, yo, hurry up and sing. Oh, like literally, right. like some of the dudes, I was like, oh god. So I got up to sing, but after the show, they were like, son, son, you kill, you kill. So, yeah, so I, I paid, I paid quite a bit. So being from DC, do you ever do any global influence in any of your music? Uh, no, not really. Okay. No, it's more so the church meets the garage band. I like that, I like, yeah. that. I like that. That's, mm -hmm. that's a hot combination. Yeah. So let everybody know, what, you know, in this day and era, the social media outlets, you're on Facebook, I'm yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. Website? Uh, yes, uh, yes, it's uh, facebook.com slash uh, Terrence.Cunningham, 
twitter.com slash Terrence C, uh, myspace.com slash Terrence Cunningham, and we recently purchased the domain name of TerrenceCunningham.com, which I'm so excited about, which will be up in the coming weeks. Six months from now, what is Terrence Cunningham going to be doing? Uh, six months from now, Terrence Cunningham will be in the UK. I have a show booked in June for London. Okay. So I'll be overseas. That's so look out. Hey. Hey everybody, stay tuned here to IcyCallLive.tv. Tonight we had on Terrence Cunningham, he lit it up at the Gypsy Soul event, so you want to stay tuned. Let the world know. Yeah, I'm Terrence Cunningham, singer, songwriter, musician, all around good dude, lover of life, man. Check me out. IcyCallLive.tv.